What's up guys, Ben here, bringing you another video today. It is Monday, we complete the first week of the major four qualifiers. A bunch of interesting results, some upsets, a lot of uh, instability at the bottom, eight all the teams qualifying for champs. One team, sadly, has been sent uh, to the elimination chamber, AKA they're not gonna probably make it to champs. Let's talk about it and rank all the teams one through 12. All right, so this is the last list that we did. If you are new here, I don't do the letter thing. I do it this way and I've actually made one twist from the last time I did this. The champs, uh, Every time I say that, I think of like the Champions League anthem. Anyway, uh, these are three teams that have won so far this season. Honestly, they are your top three teams. Then the regulars finish top four. I mean, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Making progress is sort of the fifth, sixth best teams. We'll talk about why I think maybe only one team is in the spot. Work to do slash going to Dallas is going to be the teams I think that are most likely now to qualify for the final uh, three spots uh, to make it to champs and likely lose in the first round. And then Cancun soon are teams that or on the edge of that, but are still in contention. And Cancun is gonna be anyone that is officially eliminated from uh, champs competition or basically eliminated. So, okay, let's talk about uh, the Cancun thing. And I gotta unfortunately move the Boston Breach uh, down there. They still have not won a, a match uh, <laughs> in months. It's been uh, 12 straight losses, I actually believe. I'm gonna double check that right now. Dating back to right before the major to qualify. Yep. Uh, they beat Seattle was the last time they won. Uh, two losses, a game five loss to Rocker uh at the beginning of the week and then a 3-0 stomping yesterday uh by la theme i mean this team is just cooked you know they brought in major maniac to try and win some S and D's, and they've actually looked better in search but uh the respawn has taken a complete and utter nosedive so really not much to talk about with this team it's going to be a clean house situation i want to say this though and i hope this gets clipped and put on reddit and put on twitter because i'm i'm tired of like people talking about Snoopy and not really understanding either my perspective or where we're coming from with him. I like report card at this point, now that we've seen enough of him is as far as technical skill, ability to stay alive, like gunny on the map, this guy actually has a lot of potential. He makes a lot of plays. He's got good movement. He's got great centering. His aim's good. Like the potential is there to be a really, really talented player. The thing that he has to, I think, uh, do, and I think a great example of this is what Hydra did. Uh, going from Cold War to Vanguard to Model for Two, where he won champs, is developing the ability to be comfortable, especially if you're not a native English speaker, is communicating what you want to do on the map so your teammates can either enable behind you, bait for you, or set up uh, a safety net in case you don't get the kill or make the play that you want to make. The minute that Snoop learns to do that, A, I think they'll be a more consistent respawn team. And I think more importantly, B, I think they're going to be a lot better in search and destroy. He's just, uh, I think, just not always on the same page with his teammates and i i think when watching them play it seems to be a communication issue and i want to give him a little bit of a pass on it just because again not a native english speaker but if he wants to have a long-term future in this league that's a skill that he's got to develop or he's just going to be sort of kind of an average SP player in the league but anyway don't want to talk more about boston i think to be honest we won't talk about much of them on tier list going forward next up we have the los angeles gorillas and honestly not a bad week for lag they took one off of carolina in a game five which is kind of a surprise i thought lag We'll probably lose that 3031 and they battle with la thieves but uh kind of will third game five uh, listen not much really changed about this lag team uh respawn is a little bit sus but they can steal maps um off of people the real s and d has actually looked uh decent at times and they were able to take a hard point vista so that's nice I, I just think again they are unlikely to be the one team maybe getting into this champs qualification race so we shall see, but they made things interesting this week. We'll continue to monitor their progress. All right, next up we have uh, the Vegas Legion. I'm actually going to move these guys here. I'm gonna move Carolina down here. I'm gonna move LAG kind of right there for now. Vegas Legion had a great uh, week, I think from my uh, perspective. They are now two and two with Johnny. So they won that match versus Boston before the major. They lost to Miami in game five. Boston, so at the major, so they got last. Uh, they lost to Toronto at the beginning of this week, 3-0, but they beat Optic yesterday. So I think a big momentum uh, game for uh, Vegas. And it seems like if this team can now start to get going uh, with Johnny, and I thought Johnny played very good in the series this weekend, I actually think they have a real outside chance because of the issues that my uh, Minnesota and Carolina will get to, uh, to get that eight spot. It means they're probably going to get dead last at champs, but uh, they may sneak it in. So at the moment, I got to jump them a bunch of spots. Uh, and they might be getting this last spot to go and qualify for champs. All right, let's talk about the two really disappointing teams this week. Because um, Boston, whatever. Minnesota Rocker. I mean, I think this team needs to make a roster change. You know, they lost to Boston in game five and got through a smoke by Seattle. They still can't win respawn. I, I don't I don't really know 
what else has to go on here um to show this team is just not a great respawn team i know they're gonna stick at it but uh the more that they uh try and make the situation work the more likely that a gap is going to develop and they're going to be in a position where they got to get like top six and major four so we shall see if minnesota make a change today they'll probably get out tomorrow on tuesday uh, but they are in a precarious position. I had to move them down a bunch of spots because of that. And I think I would also move Carolina down there. I'm going to actually put Carolina in front of Minnesota. And maybe I'll put them in front of LAG for now. I don't know. Sure, we'll do that. A very disappointing week for Carolina in which they lost two game fives. One to LAG. So I guess I actually put LAG in front of them. Uh, and then uh, New York as well. I uh, just needed Carolina really to win the LAG series. The New York won was interesting because they kind of smoked New York on a Rio S and D um, and then kind of grind out a uh, invasion control. I think New York kind of rolled a little bit, um, but they didn't really look competitive in the hard points against New York. And then in the game five uh, S and D invasion, this team's got a tough time recently. In these game fives, they have lost, I believe two of the last three uh, game fives. And they also have a tough time winning game fours um, in stages. I actually am looking through now. They don't, they don't win a game four against New York or LAG or Seattle. It did one one against LAG at the major to close them out 3-1. So uh, a little bit of a current trend. We go back to that, like lost one against Optic. Beat Rocker in a game four, but lost a phase in a game four. Toronto in a game four. Thieves in a game four. They have an issue with this um, game four hard point, especially ones they don't pick. So uh, a lot that Carolina's had to clean up here because they had a nice position. And now um, with Vegas winning a bunch, Miami getting a good position at the event, Thieves getting on a roll. You don't want to be just kind of hoping and praying that you get a top eight at the event. They got to get it going online. Um, and Carolina's upcoming matches are face these and optic. So ugh, they, they kind of threw their early advantage here and they're in a, a little bit of trouble. All right, let's uh, talk about the LA thieves. Um, a, a fun week for them. Uh, we're really have to grind out a game five against LAG. And that was kind of par for the course with these. They just don't close series out and they let teams get back into it and then the boston one was a good response because that was very clean so i think for thieves i feel like they're probably going to make champs but they're just not on the level with seattle uh especially with their land performance that's really do that i can't really move them up there they got carolina next carolina's gonna be really desperate but thieves have a difficult schedule to split if they can win that carolina match or guaranteed winners back probably but then they got toronto and phase vegas and new york so if they lose to carolina and then they get on a three-game losing streak and going that vegas match is must win We'll see. There's some, there's some potential roadblocks coming for these. We'll see. Uh, Miami Heretics, I think not really much to speak of this week. They were playing with a sub. Persia was coming in for Vickle. They were playing Optic, and you know, Optic hate those guys. So uh, I think we'll, I don't want to spend too much time on Miami. Uh, I'm going to leave them in this spot. They got Rocker and LAG coming up, Toronto and Carolina. So I think we're going to learn a lot more about Miami in the next couple of weeks here. Uh, but for now, I feel like with their point spread, they're in a good spot too. Uh, make champs but i would not put them on the level of seattle and let's get to the seattle boys who uh, had a great week they started off with a game five win against toronto a little bit of an upset there and then a three zero versus rocker seattle have not lost uh now won four of their last five games but they're only lost to new york at the major and then if you want to take it even uh further than that their last seven the only losses are to phase toronto and new york they have also beaten toronto in that stretch so they're doing a good job of being teams below them and being fairly competitive, uh, taking a map or two off of or winning uh, versus the top team. So I think therefore, I finally feel good about putting a team in the fifth spot and feeling comfortable that they're going to keep it locked in. Uh, I like Seattle's chances to continue this going. They are a DC respawn team. They are a solid SD team, not an amazing SD team. So I'm hoping that progress does not fall off, but they got a rematch versus New York coming up. Boston, Vegas, Miami, and LAG. Seattle's gonna get four. It wins probably in the split and, and Likely going to be in a good position to get the fifth spot, which is really important. You get six, seven, eight, you're playing Optic Face to run around one of the champs. You get that fifth spot, and they already like have been pretty competitive and beaten New York this season. They feel good potentially about Seattle making a decent run at champs or at major four uh, with the way that they are playing right now. All right, New York Subliners, a one in one week. They uh, did not play good this week. Uh, I think this was a B minus to C plus week uh, for New York because. Even in the series they won against Carolina, uh, I didn't think that they played all of that great, especially on the Rio s and and the Invasion Control, and they let Carolina kind of hang around, even though they sort of outclassed them in the hard points. They clutched them in Invasion Search. And then the Phase series was interesting to me because they looked great in the first map. And then the Invasion s and I think, was winnable. Uh, the Control they clutched up, they reversed what Phase in that, uh, but they really trolled the ending of the Karachi hard point, and then Phase kind of outclassed them 
on six star SD. So uh, I think there's a world where New York could have gone two and zero this week, and we could have had an interesting conversation. But I think New York is in the spot that we think they're in. The fourth best team having trouble, uh, you know, being the, the teams above them, and they occasionally lose the teams below or play sketchy with them. A lot of progress New York needs to do uh, to try and get in a spot where they can make a final this year. Because right now, as good as Hydra's playing, and they got a great um, Kismet this weekend, it's not resulting in wins or really wins against. Uh, elite opposition at all all right let's talk about toronto phase and i think we'll wrap this up uh for toronto a game five loss uh to seattle which they got reverse swept to start things off so that was a bit of um shocker in that one all the maps were fairly close other than the high res snd which toronto continues to suck at so i don't know what they're going to do about that this season and then they played against vegas and it was a fairly uh clean win out of them so one in one week with a little bit of a slip up against uh, Seattle. I will say for uh, Toronto, they have phase and optic at the end of the split, um, but they got Miami, Thieves, Rocker in the middle. Um, so probably get it on four, but Toronto with that loss to Seattle now needs to kind of convert against phase or optic, or they're going to get a weird seed for um, this major. I just I just feel like with, with Toronto, there's still a number of issues with this team that I can't move them uh, above phase or optic. They look better in S&D, but the, that high rise S&D issue which is going to continue to be an auto veto for them is a tremendous uh, problem in their map pool. Especially if teams like FaZe uh, get better at 6 or SD, then, then there's real problems for Toronto on that. All right, let's talk about FaZe. They only had one game, and that was that weird series against New York. Just an absolute grueling, and I think FaZe did not play well in that series, and New York played well, but FaZe still grinded out a win, and that's what good teams do. Um, they find victory in days where they are not playing uh, very well. The only issue for FaZe is like the last five series, the last three series they played have all gone in game five. So you do a better job getting back to that form we saw before the major or in that series against New York where they were just kind of a dominant team. But the respawn still looks pretty uh, solid. I think if you're a FaZe fan, you got to like that they won two SDs uh, this week on Invasion and Six Star. So their split is a snooze. They got Carolina, LAG, Boston, Thieves, Toronto, Miami. They're getting like six wins, seven wins maybe with that schedule. So FaZe and Cruz and probably. I think mathematically we'll be in a good position by the middle of major four locking down the number one seed uh for champ and then let's close out with optic a bit of a weird one for optic uh, a very clean series against miami with a substitute and then we saw the vegas maps and we're like bro why is vegas playing this optic team on sub base hard point and vegas absolutely smoked them vegas also want to control high rise in that in that series as well as an snd karachi which is now kind of a question mark for optic they've now lost that map uh twice in a road dating back to the major in which they played Toronto on it and lost fairly cleanly. So I think Obby's got some work to do in some of the edge maps in the pool and they did not play particularly well against Vegas and got punished for it. But I'm not really super worried about Optic because they've been playing sketchy series online now for over a split and they did win the last event. Rocker, Carolina, New York, Boston, Toronto. So there's some there's some challenges in the schedule. We'll see if Optic meet them. Um, I think it was a bad series versus Vegas. So they just got to lock in and not repeat that and get a good week of practice. And also of note for the matches that happened this week. Uh, on Sunday, there were no warm-ups for some of these teams. So I think that maybe explains some of the first map issues for Optic, but you still got to close out on the SD Karate. Anyway, these are the rankings we have right now. I feel pretty good about the top three gap, New York gap, Seattle gap, everybody else gap, Boston. I think that is basically how things break down. And the, that bottom six or middle six, I don't know what we're doing with Boston. We'll see, we'll kind of shuffle around as people Start to jockey for position to maybe uh, get uh, their champ spots locked in. All right, so let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. As always, guys, we'll see you on the next one.